Good morning, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Wednesday, November 4th. We're continuing to have Common Prayer, a liturgy for ordinary radicals. <clears throat> and today we are commemorating Watchman Nee. Watchman Nee was a Chinese church leader in the early 20th century. He was born into a Methodist family on November 4th, 1903. Ni was a courageous pastor and writer who saw a great revival in China. China. He had no formal theological training, but with a deep commitment, he undertook 30 years of ministry in the underground church in China. Eventually, he was imprisoned for his faith and remained in prison for two decades until his death in 1972. O Lord, let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Our song for this morning is Poor Wayfaring Stranger. I am a poor wayfaring stranger, a traveling through this world of woe. Yet there's no sickness, toil, nor danger in that bright land to which I go. I'm going there to see my Father. I'm going there no more to roam. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. Be not far away, Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 22, verses 12 through 17. Many young bulls encircle me. Strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their jaws at me like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart within my breast is welting, melting wax. My mouth is dried out like a pot sherd. My tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth, and you have laid me in the dust of my grave. Packs of dogs close me in, and gangs of evildoers circle around me. They pierce my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them. They cast lots for my clothing. Be not far away, O Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Our... Old Testament reading continues out of Joel chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Blow the shofar in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy mountain, let all the people of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming, it is near, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of fog and dense clouds. A vast and countless horde appears, like soot spread over the hills. It is like something never known before, nor will be seen in ages to come. Their vanguard is a consuming blaze, their rear guard is a devouring fire. Ahead of them, the countryside is like the Garden of Eden. Behind them is a desolate wasteland. Nothing escapes them. They look like horses, they gallop like stallions. With a racket like rumbling chariots, they leap over the mountaintops, like crackling flames burning up straw, like a vast army battle array. People tremble at their sight, every face turns pale. They charge like warriors in combat. They scale walls like soldiers. Each squad pursues its objective, never swerving to the right or the left. Never jostling each other, they move straight ahead. Like flying arrows, they continue their pursuit, never breaking ranks. They hurl themselves at the city. They leap upon its walls. They climb through windows like thieves in the night. The earth trembles at their approach. The heavens shudder, sun and moon grow dim, and the stars withhold their brightness. The Lord roars, leading the horde, with innumerable regiments forming the army. Countless are those who do God's bidding. Great and terrible is the day of the Lord. Who can endure it? Our New Testament reading continues out of the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verses 13 through 21. The sixth angel blew its trumpet. 
and I heard a voice coming from the four horns of the golden altar before God. It said to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, release the four angels who are bound by the great river Euphrates. So the four angels who had been kept ready for this very hour and day and month and year were released to slay a third of humankind. The number of the mountain tr mounted troops was 200 million. I heard their number. As the vision continued, I saw horses and their riders. Their breastplates were flame red, hyacinth blue, and sulfur yellow. The horses had lion's heads, and fire and smoke and sulfur were coming out of their mouths. It was at, by three... These three plagues, the fire, the smoke, and the sulfur that came out of their mouths that a third of humankind was slain. The power of the horses was in their mouths and in their tails, and their tails were like snakes with heads that inflicted injury. The rest of humankind, those who were not slain by these plagues, refused to repent of the work of their hands. They didn't stop worshipping demons and idols made of gold, silver, bronze, stone, and wood, idols that cannot see or hear or talk or walk. They did not turn from their murders, their sorcery, their debauchery, or their stealing. Be not far away, Lord. You are my strength. Hasten to help me. Salvadoran martyr Rutilio Grande said, It is a dangerous thing to be a Christian in our world. Gathered into wine by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, Remind us that we are resident aliens, called to be in the world, but not of it. Show us today what it means to live as though your kingdom has come, while trusting that it is still coming. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. <laughs>